What is happening, everybody? Breaking news out of the college football world, really the high school ranks, is Arch Manning has made his commitment. He's heading to Austin. Locked on SEC starts right now. You are Locked on SEC, your daily podcast on the Southeastern Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is happening, everybody? Welcome into Locked On SEC. And unbelievable news as Arch Manning has made his decision. He is headed to the Texas Longhorns. That is right. Five-star quarterback, number one recruit in the class of 2023. Arch Manning is headed to play for Steve Sarkeesian and the Texas Longhorns. Now, keep in mind, Arch still has a full senior year to play out here in high school. Uh, he's making his decision with his whole senior year to go, so he's made it known. And Pete Tannel of ESPN put out there the Arch Manning's high school coach, Nelson Stewart, said, I give a lot of credit to Steve Sarkeesian for what he is building at Texas. He certainly has earned this. He said from his first Zoom call two years ago, Sarkeesian lit up the call and executed a relentless recruiting effort for Arch. So... With that said, Arch Manning picking Texas over the likes of Georgia and Alabama. And look, I said for a while now, it made sense to me, Alabama. Bryce Young is about to move on. He's going to go, you know, top five in the NFL draft. Just won a Heisman, could win another one. But I said that, you know, Alabama made a lot of sense from that standpoint. But then we heard Jalen, or, or rather, Jalen Milrow has been there and waiting his turn. Looked pretty good throughout the spring. And then you have Eli Holstein, who just committed to play for Alabama a few weeks ago. And a lot of people thought that was a sign that maybe Alabama was out on Arch. Now, Ty Simpson could get the first shot after Jalen Milrow. Milrow will get the first crack at it because of his athleticism. But if Alabama wants to keep with this pedigree of championship caliber, Heisman caliber quarterbacks, I just don't know if either of those guys are are on the roster for Alabama. But Holstein could be that guy. But now the reality sets in, Arch Manning not going to Alabama. Georgia made a lot of sense for Arch because Stetson Bennett's moving on. I know there's tons of good quarterbacks on the roster there, from Brock Vandergriff to... Uh, Carson Beck. I mean, they've got guys there that can be the next big thing at Georgia, but again, none of them were as highly touted as Arch Manning. And so now Georgia looks elsewhere for their quarterback in the 2023 class. I know Florida, you know, was kind of seen as maybe an outside chance, maybe a chance that they could get Arch Manning. But it feels like feels like they've shifted their attention mainly to Jaden Rashada and you know some Florida Gator fans even believe Rashada might might be as good as Arch if you read some of what they say on the message boards and stuff but regardless Arch going to Texas I know this is locked on SEC Texas is not yet in the SEC but they're coming and by the time they come to the SEC Arch Manning will be at Texas and playing in the SEC so that's why we're talking about it here, and that's why it matters. But now I think a lot of shift, a lot of focus shifts to how will the new conference shape up? Are they going to do the pods? Are we going to do nine conference games, one permanent crossover, three permanent crossovers? Because if you're Oklahoma, if you're Texas A&M, if you're Arkansas and you're LSU, if you get put in a pod with Texas, you're playing Arch Manning every year that he's there in Texas. Now, one other thing to consider here is Quinn Ewers, the big-time five-star recruit a year ago, who reclassified, graduated high school early, went to Ohio State for a year. He got his NIL deal up at Ohio State, then he left Ohio State, and now he came to Texas. Still considered a freshman and got every opportunity in the world to be the guy there. 
uh, Steve Sarkeesian's offense. What happens if Quinn Ewers is really good? In 2023, Quinn Ewers will be the projected starter because Arch Manning would have sit a year behind Quinn Ewers. There's also another realm where Quinn Ewers does not live up to expectations. Let's say he's a guy who throws for 2,800 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions this year. It could happen. Arch Manning then is coming in in 2023 and could be the penciled-in starter from day one on campus under Steve Sarkeesian. Here's one other thing to consider. What if Quinn Ewers stinks this year? And what if the Texas faithful say, you know what? Five and seven in year one for Sark. And if he repeats that this year, we don't care what the buyout is. Let's pay it. We want him out of here. Let's make another coaching change. Again, I don't think it's likely, but it could happen. And then what happens? Arch isn't going to honor his commitment to Texas, not even knowing who the head coach is there, right? Seems to be smitten with Steve Sarkeesian. So... If you're Texas, do you go through another bad year two of Sark and stick with him, just knowing that he has Arch Manning coming behind him? There's so many possibilities that could happen here. Quinn Ewers could end up hitting the transfer portal. Arch could play as a freshman. Quinn Ewers could be fantastic, and Arch sits for his freshman year. Red shirts learning behind Quinn Ewers. There's so many possibilities here that could happen, but all of them lead to Texas somewhat being a factor in the SEC. And again, getting the legacy of the Mannings to Texas, but still going to be in the SEC. When we talk about Archie at Ole Miss, when we talk about Eli at Ole Miss, when we talk about Peyton at Tennessee, it is ironic that as of now, Arch commits to a Big 12 program, but very soon the Manning, Manning legacy will once again continue on in the SEC. So big news, breaking news, as Arch Manning is headed to play for the Texas Longhorns. Thought we would just hop on and just give a quick, some quick thoughts on it. But again, I wouldn't say it's completely out of the realm of possibility that Arch could end up going somewhere else. Again, if you're Texas or if you're Alabama and you're Nick Saban, keep those phone lines open. If you're Kirby Smart and you're Georgie, keep those phone lines open with them. But for now, it looks like Arch is settled and it's going to be the Texas Longhorns. So congrats to... Steve Sarkeesian and the Texas Longhorns. We'll see how it pans out. We'll see what impact Arch has at Texas and in years to come in the SEC. A quick reminder, betonline.net is your number one source for all your betting needs and sports information. You can find all the latest sports developments, league reviews, and news uh, inside all the playoff games. And, of course, Major League Baseball. BetOnline is your continued source for all your sports waging information from live betting to esports and more. It's the best spot for all your sports scores, podcasts, and news throughout the year. BetOnline.net, the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite sports and events, including MMA, boxing, and golf. Head on over to their website today. You can do so on your mobile device to learn about all the trends in action. BetOnline, it is where the game starts. Also, this episode brought to you by Rock Auto. With the ever-increasing numbers of makes and models, it's impossible for your local chain auto parts store to stock all the parts you need. Why would you endure pointless and intimidating questions from the people working at the counter there? You have computers with access to rockauto.com in your home and in your pocket. Save time and money when you use Rock Auto. They're a family business serving do-it-yourselfers for over 20 years. Their prices are reliably low for every customer. They got everything you need from brake parts, tail lamps, motor oil, even new carpet. Go check out their easy-to-use catalog today on their website. Find the solution to your auto parts needs. Go to rockauto.com right now. See all the parts available for your car or truck and make sure you're right locked on in their how did you hear about us box so that they know that we sent you. Amazing selection, reliably low prices, all the parts your car will ever need. Visit rockauto.com. That's going to do it for this edition of Locked On SEC. Remember to subscribe. Check us out on YouTube. We'll talk to you guys very soon.